Apostle Paul Claxton, and welcome to Open House, where we unlock purpose and everybody is welcome. Listen, if you have not already, please subscribe, like, share, let somebody know where you are and what we're doing over here at Open House. Listen, we're going to take a slight shift. I know we've been talking and sharing about the trophy series, but the Lord instructed me um, to take a slight shift. We're going to get back into trophies in 2023, um, but as we transition into 2023, and we're in the latter of 2022. Uh, we've celebrated Christmas and Advent and all those things. The Lord gave me this series, Tis the Season. We only have two insertions of it. But I want to share um, as we transition, Tis the Season, um, some powerful things the Lord um, led me into. And so we're going to um, take a slight shift and um, talk about Tis the Season. Listen, if you feel led at any point during this time to share, uh, financially, there are opportunities um, on the screen where you can share uh, with this particular platform and what God is doing through this particular ministry. Listen, before we go into the sanctuary, we're going to bow for a word of prayer. Father, we love you. We give you the honor. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this season in which you've allowed us to enter into. I lift up everyone who decided to connect on this particular platform. And Father, I pray that you would touch them right now. They might hear me by ear, but Father, I pray that your spirit will speak clear and clarity into their hearts, into their minds, into their spirit, so that they may hear you and know what you're ordering them, instructing them, leading them into, into this season. We give you the honor, the glory it is, so in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Listen, let's go. Tis the season. Greetings. Welcome to Open House again. This is Minister Paul Claxton. Uh, this is a new series for the holidays entitled Tis the Season. Tis the Season. Turn with me to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Very familiar passage. I'm going to read a few verses. There's a time for everything, a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace, the word of God, for the people of God. First, we must understand what's a season. A season is a, the construct of earth and it's time are marked by seasons. It's where we have spring, summer, autumn, winter, and weather patterns and daylight hours resulting from the earth's position with regard to the sun. sun. Simply put, uh, we know the earth is moving, forever moving, and its position and with the sun is always shifting, and because of that, the climate change. And as believers, we understand and we know this, that in the beginning, the Bible says in Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth. And we're, we're familiar with the fact that he created heaven and earth. And so everything, the solar system, it all became because of God and man. Scientists have been studying it for many, many years, what God did. And they came up with the system. Um, they studied the patterns of the earth and the movement of it, and the sun, and, it, and all the planets, and they established the seasons, as we know, the four seasons. And because of it, we are governed by seasons. Literally, our entire lives are governed by seasons. Um, we take vacations often in the summertime, and um, we animals are even governed by the seasons. Certain animals migrate in certain times and do certain things. And even in the culture, um, the women call it hot girl summer. We're just governed by the seasons. And watch this. If the same God that created me and you, the sun and the moon, called, caused us to be governed by the seasons, we know how to dress 
we know how to, you know, we know in the summertime to dress a certain way. We know in the wintertime um, to pull our coats, our minks, our furs. If we are governed by the seasons, um, I believe that God put the seasons in place literally for every aspect of our lives, not just how to dress and the climate change, but even in our lives, God put seasons in place to give us knowledge and foreknowledge even about our lives. This is the big idea. Seasons are prophetic symbols. They're prophetic symbols. And simple meaning the details are in the patterns. I live by this. The details are in the pa patterns. Um, the seasons are there to give you details, to give you foreknowledge in what to do and how to do it even about your life, every detail about your life. First, you got to understand, first point, we've got to be accountable for learning our seasons. We've got to be responsible and accountable for learning our life seasons. As I said, we know um, the four seasons, summer, spring, winter, and fall, we have those because scientists have been studying them for many, many years. They've established those things when we got here. They've already did it. But when it comes to your life, you've got to be responsible. You've got to be accountable for learning your season. you got to understand every season is your season, and every day is your day. Whether that's good or bad, it's on your watch. Because we have this, we hear people say, you know, it's my season, it's my time, you know, when things are good. But the truth of the matter, every season is your season. Every day is your day. Whether it's good or bad, because that's all a part of the patterns. That's all a part of learning your seasons. Every moment, every time that you're breathing, every moment in your life, every season is your season. Every day is your day. And you've got to be accountable. You've got to be responsible for learning those things. Truth of the matter, when you don't do it, you won't understand. You won't know patterns. You'll find yourself in cycles and not learning and, and the repetitive behavior because you hadn't figured it out. You hadn't recognized your seasons or learned your patterns. Uh, the truth of the matter, sometimes other people can tell us about us more than we can tell about ourselves. Sometimes when we're not conscious and learning our patterns and our seasons, sometimes other people know about us more than we know about us. Sometimes other people know about our patterns and our cycles more than we know about our own. And so we've got to be accountable and responsible for our own seasons and learning them and establishing the patterns. The details are in the patterns. Point two, um, you've got to study even your toxic ways. Even those things about you that are toxic, that are not, you know, that are not, that you're not proud about. As I said, that's how we find ourselves in, in, in toxic cycles, in bad relationships, um, in bad financial issues. It's because we have not taken the time, and it, this is a, we're all been, we've all been guilty of it. Those things, um, that we're not proud of. Sometimes we don't like to sit down with our mess, with our stuff. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible um, where, where the scripture says, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. In order for that person to even pin, to, to even say that thought, he had to acknowledge, hey, there's some things in me that are not right. There's some things in me. There's some things I've done. There's some thoughts that I think. There's some ways that, that, that may not be right. And I have to sit down with those things. I have to sit with my mess. I, I've got to sit in my sin. I've got to sit even if I mess. I, I've got to sit with that. I've got to sit with it and try to figure it out because I've been here before. That's the thing of the matter. Sometimes we don't even understand. Uh, uh, we don't even acknowledge hey, I've been here before. I did this before. Uh, you know, it's a cycle. And when we start recognizing it and owning it and learning it, we have to sit with it and say, you know what? 
I've got to study this. I, I've got to I've got to figure out why this keeps happening. I've got to figure out how I keep getting in this space. Why I keep falling in this particular place. And watch this. It's okay if you do need help to unravel all those things. Meaning, seeking a therapist. That's okay. Nothing is wrong with that. You may need somebody else to help you unravel those things, those cycles, those patterns. The truth of the matter, as I said, you're responsible. We're responsible for learning and recognizing our own. We, we're accountable. And so sometimes, yes, you may have to be accountable and responsible to link up with a therapist or a counselor to help you figure out to unravel some things, um, some cycles, some patterns that you are going through. And yes, the Holy Spirit, God, yes, prayer, all of that is essential. The Holy Spirit will lead you and reveal things to you also. But the truth of the matter, we're responsible. We have to be accountable, whether that's through prayer, fasting, the word of the Lord. If you do need to get some help outside, that's fine too truth of the matter, we're responsible. We have to be held accountable for learning and establishing um, seasons in our life so that, as I said, seasons are prophetic symbols. The details are in the seasons. You've got to understand and know what season you are in so that you will know how, what, when, and what to do in certain situations. Um, I say it like this. Sometimes we're living in a got this from the Lion King. The circle of life is a revolving cycle. And so we're going to go deeper um, into test the season. Let's join in prayer. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank you for this time. We thank, thank you for this season in which you've called us to gather online. Father, I pray that you would bless everyone that that's on here that's heard these words. I pray that the word of the Lord will meet them where they are. Father, we love you. We thank you for your spirit, which leads us into all truth. Now, Father, we pray you would bless us right now. We pray that your spirit will meet us where we are and bless us right now. Help carve and curve out the things and reveal the things that are in us that we don't even know about, that we're not even conscious about so that we may walk into who and what you've called us to be in our lives. We love you. We bless you. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. It is so in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, we thank you. We're going to dive into this a little bit more. Tis the season. Listen, if you feel led at any point, again, to share, to sow any type of offering, any gift into this ministry, feel free to do so at any point. Listen, if you hadn't already subscribed, we're going to meet you again at a later time. Listen, we love you. We bless you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. It is so in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We'll see you next time. Thank you.